Now welcome for my take life for a salon all una one a day life. My take life is one of the other purpose na question and answering. If una get any question wo na wa ask me in regards to any two one that I concerning my take, what na my take life or na my take talk for YouTube what they do or question about any particular thing. As would they life so well, the wake people or well, the cook. Now, the best time is for ask the question. I am ready for all questions and I will answer all the questions to the best of my ability. So, when I ask me the question, as we talk about my take life, if you don't know, my take get health, get two parts healthy eating will become life for Monday. Now, one part that. And then my take life talk where motivational speaking is the goal life on Saturdays. Now, so my take the do. So my take was to post at least two videos, have two good videos in between at the postpose dancing na no shaky body. In between, I will propose, I will put dancing shaky body. But two important videos, and they were the goal life every week. One, the life for healthy cooking, healthy eating. And then the other part where they might take talk while they post them every Saturday. I beg una, una comment. I want for you now. I want for you una mona tell me how what they do. This might take no go better if una not tell me how what they do. What una down or una up? Una tell me. Una like or una no like? Una tell me. Make I know how what they do. Enough of the talking and waiting. Now we want to go start cook. Woman, hey, woman, hey, woman, hey. I salute you now. I salute all you now on a day line for my take life. Today, na healthy taco what you make. For the healthy taco, we get. I, I make everything from scratch, from the tortilla to the filling of the taco. So I start cook now. For start, I push the butt more for front. I get my meat. Actually, I don't start for the do and I see how the meat small because I don't start say when I cook, I will just cook like how way I cook my normal chop for my diet way. So normally for dieting, the recommended protein, where well, I don't make my research, I see I'm for a day, na eight ounce. So this meat with the inside here, so na eight ounce of meat. This chop in the normal sense, and the make a so you feature chop um, at least when I make a so feature chop um, two, three times, not be just one time chop. So 
na eight ounce of meat. The meat na match meat. Na I did for this bowl. Before I want to move on, I wash my hand. Come. So first, I go season my meat. The meat, na grind meat. Now in this, just eight ounces, they always be like a handful. Now in this grind meat, I buy and wait, they already pre-grind the meat. So now the meat is, now eight ounces meat, I never do anything there. For seasoning my meat, as I always do, I need to put salt for my chop. So for my seasoning, I get this salt free seasoner while I use them. It be common day for most supermarket them. For this quantity of meat, I'll put one tablespoon for the seasoning. So what I do now say I go season them because when you need to put salt for chop, it will be a little bit take a little bit time. Me and this dust down, they always make me sneeze. It take a little bit time for say me the spices the entire skin. So what I do what I do So what I do, I go season them fine first for here. Kalishos, welcome, oh, welcome for my take life. Welcome for my take life. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the sharing. Today we'll be making a healthy taco. I know some of we don't know taco, but taco will be very common for, for America. Yeah, we'll give you some we'll call and say, we'll call and say, uh, question. Why not propose African and Cameroon dish? Well, the reason why I cook, what in the way I cook them, now because for my take life a goal, now for make healthy eating. Now we say Cameroon dish, you know, they healthy. Now say when they are brought, we need the most time see all the things the way we like them. So for example, for summer time, like the day we make um, cauliflower fufu, so when I make fufu, the really process for that cauliflower fufu be there now for, for, for make a healthier option for fufu. I not talk say fufu corn no fine or fufu cocoa no fine. I say when you do want lose weight, you want eliminate heavy carbohydrates. In. So my goal for my take life now for give we healthier options them for chop. The reason why I make taco today. They, na, na because they na a common chop we day for you and my take life most of the time they for we were there abroad we were there back home we get a lot of vegetables and we not actually jam healthy chop back home so but when we were there abroad we not, we not get the opportunity for see all those healthy chops and way we get them back home so my take life is goal na say i want make more make use of the things that we will get them abroad how will fisting make use for get with African taste from that thing them? So now nah, nah, my take life is go that. You know, be say I don't like Cameroon chop. No, I like Cameroon chop. I chop my jam and jam, I chop my fufu. Now just when I want chop the jam and jam, I fufu, I make and see for the healthy way. And again, life will get for spice things them up. We we'll never go for the chop one and the same chop all the time. As for the country chop them, the egg bang, the fufu, the dollar, we don't chop them every day. So once in a while, we'll get for spice up. That's just my opinion. Welcome, oh, Nicoline. Welcome for my take life. Welcome, welcome, sis Nicoline. Hey, I know this December, so now you are months. Anyone will not know sis Nicoline in months, now December, now sis Nicoline in months, oh, now in birthday month. And you see your fine, 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 fine picture of them for your lovely and beautiful family where you get them. Thank you for joining my take life and thank you for sharing. Love, 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 love. So yes, I hope to answer that person the question where he asked me say why I need to make African chop or Cameroon chop. So coming back to the cooking, coming back to the cooking, I don't I do today a grind meat taco. The taco 
that way we see so fit chop and for Cameroon. I didn't make them for the way we so this goal for my tech. I say I didn't this they chop the way they get them for here. I did can make them for where we, we African they will fit chop and make them for our own taste but so that they think that what they try for do so that it kind of replace it kind of replace uh someone will not be stranded kind of my one that someone will not be stranded from jam waiting for chop because when they are brought you know they're back home where you get you go back side pick jama jama you cook and you go back side move cocoa move plant it healthy chop them but for yeah would you get hard time for fine all that kind chop them so my take life a goal now for make use of the kind of vegetables and the kind of thing the way they get them for abroad for yeah like for me at the america for me we feel make them for our own taste but for our own Cameroon we will feature chop and enjoy them or Nigerian we will feature chop African or African country we will feature chop and enjoy them so that's so my take life day so today I will make a healthy taco we will make tortilla from scratch and we will make filling from scratch so what I will do now is start making the sauce what I will first do now is I will mix the ingredients for my meat leave them while the ingredients for my meat the spice together then now I go make my tortilla this tortilla they so we say for africa for cameroon we feed chop them in fact people that you do them for many different ways when you don't make your tortilla how you want to make your feeling inside matter people then they way when i know for cameroon i would make charge bread no uh -huh. you buy your bread you cut move your soya put that inside your bread you chop it's kind of the same concept now just say that you call them different name because tortilla for you now waiting now bread where they make on i will say i will make the bread now bread where they make it they call and taco bear they make and then grind meat and thin them put that inside so now chop we will feature up and so my goal now for bring awareness to this they can chop them how will you make them for your own taste but so now they think that way i do so today now grind me so i didn't have to make my my taco sauce so let's get there now eight ounce of grind meat while i don't put them then i go add my two tablespoon garlic and ginger for inside there grace welcome oh. grace the grace my way no no grace are back when i better no grace all my hair style the one i see for my hair it comes from one and only grace saloon now grace you do all this my beautiful braids them so oh i see them now grace you hook me up so grace welcome thanks for joining my take life share 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 the video so i don't put my two spoon of um, garlic and ginger i always grind my garlic and ginger for house i always get a while i don't grind and keep them so two tablespoon garlic and ginger well i don't first put one tablespoon of this mixed seasoner now salt free mixed seasoner now here i don't first put them for inside so what i do now so i just mix and mix and fine may enter may the thin the garlic and ginger enter the meaty skin with that spice may enter the meaty skin fine so nothing that what you do for spicing the thing up my tortilla will make an eggplant so this one an eggplant actually taco what you do and again my turkey goal now for reduced carbohydrate and healthy eating for help us for loose weight so for help us for loose weight we therefore eat healthy one more vegetables and less carb so everything we are going to cook and i will going to be more with vegetable then sorry go be more with vegetable then now we are the reason cook so now i don't just put that this mix seasoner i like it for my meat mix seasoner i don't just put naive one tablespoon two tablespoon grind garlic and ginger i get kind pepper kind pepper and then usually i just do a shake because chop i want me all man chop and most people they don't like and will be too spicy so i just put a shake for just a taste i'll put a small kind pepper and then a teaspoon for this quantity a teaspoon of black pepper and black pepper this just normal black pepper Black pepper don't be finished. So, I can shop here. So it is poor black pepper. I always move my face when I put black pepper because it make me sneeze. So 
Now all the spices and literally that way I put them for medicine. If you look them, no, no salt, no maggi, no dede for the cooking. No salt, no maggi because the goal now for reduce salt intake and sugar intake and oil, the quantity of grass will be put on. So now I don't mix all my spices. I go leave it may stand for like five to ten minutes. The time where it stand for semi the season the entire skin before I put on for fire. I will start make my tortilla. So I'll put the one for here. I'll bring a different bowl for mix the tortilla. So the thing where whole taco na that bread that they put inside, I call and say bread bread. Yeah, actually in a bread of color. That taco this way that they put it inside. They get different ways the way that they make them. Right now, so if you go market, you see the one the way they be with green color, white color, different different colors. So one day the way they be like cookies, like biscuit where they be crumbsy and all that one. But I get my own way where they make my healthy one out of coconut flour. So now I go do them right now. So for this one, I go just make that a very small quantity because plenty of people know. Um, I need to make them for the whole house right now. When I make them for the whole house, I actually increase the, the size where I will make them today. Now, so when I make them for the whole house, I will do a double. So instead of half cup um, coconut flour, I'll put a one cup coconut flour because it actually rise and come more. So I get half cup, now half cup this of coconut flour. I'll put it for there. Now the tortilla why they don't start for making so filan I'm a buying that this now they make a hole. I hope so now they see I'm clear. Filan filan hush now I use them for buying them. Here I will put two tablespoons for this quantity while they make them. Two tablespoon and then I will put baking powder so I first mix all the dry ingredients in first then I'll put baking powder one teaspoon baking powder so as I cook so as we did live so for Monday when I remember now the best time for ask any question or anything where when I don't see them might take life. And if when I get any comments when I want to make them, it's also very welcome at this time because I'll be able for answer as I cook. So now what I do, I don't just put my half cup coconut flour. I use coconut flour. You can use coconut and almond flour for two healthy choice. But generally, when I did that for my losing face, for my weight loss, I try to avoid nuts because, like almond, most nuts then get oil. So if you want to control your oil intake, you want for limit, um, reduce the number of nuts, the nuts intake too, because that, you know, nuts now one thing way would you get hook on. If you do your diet, you need to lose weight. You that's what it the happen way. Meanwhile, you not chop, but you chop granite, you chop almond, you chop all these nuts and with them be full of fat then get a lot of um, fat on them so now I don't mix all my dry things in what I'll do now I'll put one tablespoon of olive oil Then I will come mix my water there. So, for my water, because I want me my tortilla get a green color. The second one, when I go market, when I see that green tortilla, the way they get for market, they don't really buy it. But they already pre make her. That green color, na spinach. So, now my spinach this way, it will give my color. Why not go for spinach? 
you get the fiber and you get the color at the same time you get healthy so it's just a boom 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 healthy so here i go grind it with one cup water so what i do now is i put my spinach inside my blender This spinach I approximately half cup. It look plenty so now because it froppy skin, but a half cup spinach. Then half cup spinach, I'll put one cup water. And then I will blend them. So when you blend, Henrietta, welcome for my take life for welcome sis Henrietta. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for the love. Thanks for sharing. Today we we'll do healthy taco. We we'll do everything from scratch. I don't give you a recipe for una tomorrow. Tomorrow na taco Tuesday. So una watch them, una try and tomorrow and una give me comments on how una like the healthy taco. So now the one cup water this one grind uh, I grind with half cup spinach. The goal for this one I go make and give that green color, forget green color taco. You feel still do if you don't want the green color, if you just add your one cup water into this mixture and you'll be fine. But me I'd always like, hey, any more healthy thing where you feel add them inside your chop, go for it. After all, the more vegetable the better. So when I pour the water, so if you just look at your eye, you go fix it plenty, you know, go be thick. But that, that final, they make them very thick. That final hush, they make them very thick. It will become thick as, and then it will become like a ball. So what I do now, say first, once I put and so, I will first use my spoon mixer, mix and mix and then after I will use my hand for mash and then for make a may become like a bowl. All this cooking the way I do and so generally if I just did have to cook without distraction, I will make this chop in 20 minutes. The whole process from the beginning to the end takes about 20 minutes. So now a fast chop way it be healthy and it be easier for make a. So you want first match and match and match and so. Once done the tick, I go use my hand now, mold them together. So now I don't tick now, I go use my hand for mold them, but I will put my gloves on first. When I wear my gloves, I always wash my hand after I don't wear the gloves. We'll move anything with the for the gloves. I wash my hand with the gloves. So now I just use my hand make a mix and fine. May mix fine. When you mix and we come out fine. If you feel I'm say it be too soft. If you always add a little bit of coconut flour for the, but generally you want maybe kind of drawing in the hands. And so when you know, say, your yeah, mixture, they fine. So 
So this one cup of water with the butter, if I may just be in a warm water, may not be in a cold water, where you mix your one cup of water. So what I just simply do, I just mash and mix and fine. Once I mix and fine, make a maybe like a ball. If you did fine, as I roll and so you go see and say, you go to cash up all the other things that don't miss it on buying the buying and be correct. So don't be now like a bowl. I say don't come out. Or keep it stand for 10 minutes before I start making for rolling. So I always, for this particular case, I always put my timer because you want me actually be that 10 minutes. So I use my gas cooker, my oven to cook. I just put time for the 10 minutes. So why I wait for the 10 minutes? I go stand now, my meat too now, go down season. So I will actually start for make my meat. For my meat, I get grind onion and all, and no, I don't get grind onion. I go grind, I go grind onion, pepper, and this one, an onion leaf together. I go just grind them, they just chop. And you use eggplant, but I get one, I just did one for sure on the eggplant, but I don't want this, so I don't chop them. Why I go use them for today? And again, why do you have a taco without avocado? So I get avocado way we go make and so now what I'll do now for start cook my meat. Why do I want to wait for that 10 minutes? So I go just put a pinch like small water for my pot, put my meat the maize, like I use stir fry. So instead of use oil for stir fry, I use now water for stir fry the meat. So if you look at it like two teaspoons, maybe even less than it like two tablespoons water. Very little. Sister Maggie, welcome. Oh. Welcome for my take life. Thanks for joining. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. So today we'll make healthy taco. So I'll be done seasoning the meat first. Now grind meat. So I'll be done seasoning the grind meat first with my pepper and um, um, blend mixed for spice meat. I use black pepper, I use paprika. So now I don't put the meat for fire, I put them first for high heat so that may steam, may boil, may cook for a little bit. Why it cook at the grind all the other vegetables then for mixer inside. So I don't put the meat, it go the steam. I will grind my onion. All this one, I'll just take them all and put them inside my molinets. Grind them at once. Oh, an eggplant. So I get my onion. Get my half bay pepper. And green pepper, onion leaf, actually, this one. So now the other spices in that way, I'll put them. So now the other spices in that way, I will put them. So I put onion, bay pepper, and onion leaf. And the spice in that way, I'll grind them for use them for my meat.
Just put oil for a bowl here, yeah, so that when I want it, I'll just move on. I like this chopper just simply because it is chop things really without any water added. So now they grind um, ginger and garlic, no, not ginger garlic, onion, bay pepper. I will really put ginger garlic inside my chop, inside the pot with the meat. The one that will put them when the meat's done ready, just before I move them. Then I will leave small one or sprinkle them on top for give that bright shining color. For taco, you actually do one where you finish make your grind meat. And so most people some people do one so finish make your grind meat and they go chop onion tomatoes and um, green pepper for sprinkler on top but today i don't really want the tomatoes for my taco so i, I, I really like my taco without that extra salsa sauce and i know uh, mexicans they like that salsa sauce way that they make them um, tomatoes salsa salad where they make them um, tomatoes onion garlic but i don't want tomatoes for my taco today so i know put tomatoes there Again, my goal for my take now for bring the chop the will get our broth for make and for way way if it's sweet with African mouth with African taste and the goal that yep so my meat the boy I put it for very high fire because I want me actually cook like say it's done wait what you do now and i say I just scatter the meat because when you put the meat whole for fire, so if you not actually go the go the scatter ram, it will come thick like a meatball, and you know what may be thick like a meatball. So I definitely now, so I actually scatter the meat so that may come out grain grain as grind meat. So my healthy hack for my meat. Do you know what I do and so I actually fry the meat. For people who they do healthy, they will talk say they will put instead of put water, they will put oil for fry the meat. The meat are the put in water for fry the meat with them. So make a make the meat done. So actually it will still come out the same nice and taste, just more healthier, lesser, lesser grease. I'll show you how the texture there before I put the um, garden egg, the eggplant for the, not the garden egg, eggplant. I talk garden egg because sometimes they for summer they make our garden egg. I will actually make the miso, grind my garden egg there, put that inside. It will be very nice. When I make the miso, put my garden egg there, sometimes I just chop them with, uh, not with taco, but with anything else. It just be like a sauce for the day. It will come out very nice. The grind me garden eggs. But again, we they are brought, we need to always see the kind of the garden egg will not get the logs for see and time only for summer. So for winter, like now when a winter for here for Minnesota, you gotta make use of what we have. Say so when I see them, I don't fry them. You see I come up. No water, no dairy. Actually, they like so you fry the meat because no water, no dairy. So now, now good time this now for put my my garden egg there. So now grind. I mean, I put my eggplant. Now grind eggplant this. Eggplant, now eggplant this. Hopefully they don't know. Them. So I don't just chop them. 
may come out smaller pieces. Now we'll just mix it again with the meat. The whole point is saute, we just saute them. For your spices then, for your, this thing, when I play with the spice, I mean, put the spices the way you like. If you like pepper, if you want maybe hot, you can put the real hot pepper there, grind one hot pepper. Sometimes I do that for myself. I just grind one hot pepper, mix it inside there, give it a hot taste. So for spices, not any man it tastes, but just the goal where I talk for everybody and I say, just try for not put salt, plenty salt and oil for day. Because if you want healthy chop, then you don't already go spoil and with a lot of salt and a lot of oil. At the end of the day, even though in a vegetable, the way you chop them, you know they see the weight loss because the oil and the salt, they for your skin where the one, the oil, they go be gain more fat than the salt, they retain water for your skin. So again, if you really want to do healthy dieting, you just get for try for do consciously for avoid excess oil in your food and excess salt in your food and the whole goal that so it makes no sense for say you want healthy vegetable then you end up the instead go add plenty salt and plenty oil for day so now that one day for low heat i will leave it for low heat may it be the steam for three to four minutes then i will just put this other vegetable then for day and voila the soup the sauce go ready and they add no extra thin for the sauce so why are the weather two to three minutes i go start for lower the air boom for the damage my 10 minutes for my dough for my tortilla dough ready so i first start doing my tortilla now my clean space yes first this eggplant is just enough for show so i'm not really using it i don't really put it for you So I'll put them for low heat. As I don't mix the garden egg with the meat, I don't put the fire for low heat so that it may steam a little bit. So may steam for a little bit. Now I'll be wing for day. So time for look my for make my tortilla don't reach, my 10 minutes don't reach. Hey, if Una Josie join me, my take live January, my take the one for January. Ten people the way they go join me for January, starting January 4th, we will go one month. So January 4th to February 4th, one month weight loss challenge. I want ten people the way go go that one month weight loss challenge. And that one month weight loss challenge, it go and I say, Instead of that one month, my tech go give people them a program for follow on for that one month. For that one month, my tech will give for the program for follow on for the one month, waiting for chop and how for do for that one month in terms of eating and exercise. My tech will come up with a program. Then, if anybody will want to join me for that one month kicking january 4th because when i know now holiday this we will always put small weight back for holiday periods because now festive period so would you get family would you get friends would you go out and all that stuff so my take one for kick off the january in a healthy way so that we will lose all that unhealthy that excess that small weight will gain i'm during the christmas period so that we can be sexy back by february 14 when i know it to be february 14 no there when i know i don't need for talking so any man way they willingly for join that my take life one month healthy eating challenge and i guarantee you now any man will join me minimum 10 pounds in that one month if you follow 
step by step on what the program we might take go giam. So when I inbox me, if I want for join that program, I will take the first 10 for this coming January 4th. I want more start for January 4th. So I beg anybody be interested, more use this week for communicate with me so that I might create the program and create the web the WhatsApp site we will go user. So when I inbox me. Okay. So now once I make uh, tortilla, we do already mix them, keep them, may stand, it don't stand for 10 minutes. So now we want to for mold them, for give the shape for the tortilla. So for mold my tortilla, which I'd always do now say, because it be very soft, it be sticky for the pan, for this um, cutting board. So what you may do for make a may not remain for the cutting board. And they actually buy this paper. This paper that you use them for bake. You put them for pan like where you want to bake cookies. So make cookies not be sticky for oven. So me, I use it for my pan. For make and say make my tortilla not be sticky. So simply what I do, I just cut and sew. Chuck small for under for both sides. For one for this side. And small for this side. So now the working surface is now the plates go there on top. So when I roll them, you know go tight, 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 tight for the bot. Now a very good way too for chinching. People who know chinching. You want oh yeah, chinching the instead for the throw away flower for on top now like, you do throw away flower. You roll and on top here. Where you want cut, I come out, pam, 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 I just fry them. So I do, I will put two, so one there for under. And then I will put, cut a smaller one for on top. This one will be for on top, where I will roll out them. And then I use this plate for take my shape, because when you want to make taco, you want to make taco be around 8 centimeters. May not be too big. May just be like this plate so that they resize this. So that you if you just burn it with your thing then you chop them. So I don't ready my plates here. No, do one do one side. So now I come back for my dough. See the dough. Don't be thick. Nice and thick. So now if you just cut them into three halves. You want this, so I want to make it into three half. But this one, if you come off four, so I'll just take my plate cut into three half. The first half, now in this, which I do, I put them under here. Take the paper over it, and then roll them in between. So your goal. Now you flatten them. The how would you make ching ching? The how would you flatten ching ching? Now all the thing that the paper then now for help me not be. I'm not putting my paper fine so it stick wrongly. The thinner, the better. So you want to make a made thin well, well. The thinner, the better. So whatever one you make, I will put my fry pan on, made it warm. I don't need any any other oil for the fry pan for frying because I already put my one tablespoon olive oil for this so I already get my grass for this so I don't flatten them now I'll go move this one for move this one I just want to be gentle because it be very thin and see how it is flat so I put it here because I will still reuse it now I'll just take my plate this plate will give me the shape if you like say you know want to use the plate you want maybe a little wider or a little bigger if you just shape a round circle around 
your shape will not make up because it gets a good shape already. But me, I did do so. I did put my plate because my plate give me my shape. Mm -hmm. That one done already. So when I put the plate, it just helped me for do the shape. So if you want bigger, you can use a bigger plate. So then now I will move on. Just like Chin Chin, you will mold and again make another one. So you not be wasted. The thinner, the better for to thinner. The thinner will make your dough, the better. So that. Oh, I, won't, I don't mess up with the thing. Because I'll not be careful how I move my plate, so I'll roll them back again. I move my plate not gentle, it's supposed to be gentle. There we go. Then we just roll it back. So it be very soft and very thin. So it be easy for break off. Now why will you want to use this paper then? To give you the support. Because the thinner the better. That's the difference of cooking life. And the beauty, because all your mistake them will be cut and people can learn. Because nothing the way they will happen for one or two one at the makeup. Okay. Let's do it again. There you go. It's my pan ready. So I don't get my first roll. What I do now say once I get my roll, I go just move it, put them for the pan fire so now you gently pick it up it's a baby and you put it for your fire why that one is done will you make the next one will you make the next one will you make the next one that's why it works so my this is done with my eggplant already for you i will just add my mixed vegetable while grinding for my eggplant The mixed vegetable there, because now vegetable, we just not want to make overstay for fire. I will just leave it now for two minutes and then my soup will be ready. Oh, my cutting another one. One give me had a headache today doesn't want to cooperate with me so this one get two minutes that one is almost ready and make the next one Then we'll go for the next round. 
So this one will come out actually for for tortina, which is good. Same concept, same process. You put it and roll it. Generally, as one day for fire, by the time the one is done, you don't roll the next one, you put it for fire. So, you just make it like pancake. Where I put it for fire, two, two to three minutes, you turn the side. Just like you fry pancake, that's where you fry. That's where it be for pan. Again, take your pan. Stay there, my friend. Take your pan. Cut your measurement. So like I've talk, my take, they look for 10 people, the way they will go with my take from January 4, 2021 for a one month weight loss challenge. My take will give menu, how diet, diet menu, where people they feel follow them um, for that one month where they go their life. So any man will be willing if for join my take for that January life, it's welcome. When I just inbox me and I will go go into the details out of Facebook. So my first one don't finish again, I'll pay my second one. Put it out and on your pan. Why the second one you cook, you go for your next one. And so and so and so. So once I put our one start at the start and from the middle. You roll them round. So, your healthy totina, here you go. You can actually do it at home. It le takes less time. And this concept, now concept, where if you use many different things in there, when I know when the one makes shish kebab wrap, you can make all kind of wrap from this. Today I just made a taco. But you can just chop your vegetable, just make like your salad. You rub them inside and if you stay for fridge for three to four days and still be good in your fridge you just want your chop them you just warm them just like if you want warm different routine that way you buy them for market So the goal for my take life now healthy eating and for help my sister then who they are brought like me for year where would they get hard time for find the things that will be used to for market for bring those things away they need for the shop them for year and help we for use them for make things the way we will feature them because sometimes the way you go market so you sit in there so you need no way to do time if you don't wait to do time you know, buy them. So when I say I did come out, when you make them so flat, I hope so when I see them. You make them so they come out so flat. Oh, man, don't forget the one for fire. So when you put them for fire, it'll be two to three minutes. You turn the side, you leave them two to three minutes. So now I don't turn that side. Two to three minutes then i will put this one i will make the last one my my taco fair they're already ready so if it's a dish one of them when you're ready yes. so what i do now fry garden eggs actually this sauce for you now fry garden eggs um for back home, we call it fry garden eggs, and I fry eggplant where I use them for here, for, for make them. And you use them for my taco. You can use the fry 
eggplant and chop it with anything of your taste it must not be the taco and just another way for make your health plant and hey why not spice it up with something new and something nice different So now say the come out. That's a healthy taco. Now I will put the one. Now I remove that one. I'll put the next one. So when I say I use the pan, I need to put no oil for the pan. You just want to find yourself a good non-sticky fry pan. When you get your good non-sticky fry pan, you are good to go. You just put them, you wait two to three minutes, it's skin dry, you turn the other side two to three minutes. That's it. So now I'm gonna make my last one with there. Yeah. The last one they always be way. You need to ever get the best of shape because now all that I have one the way we can keep up night and make the last one. Same concept, put it for middle and just roll it. Look at the last one, this I need to trim me around because. If I trim it around the bread way, it will be too small to do anything with. So I'll just flatten it. And it's ready. So you have a taco here. Now what I'll do now say I go make a noun designer. So for me for designer, first what I do, I will put my little bit of spinach. You can never go wrong with too many vegetables. There's no such thing as too much vegetable. I go put my little bit of spinach first. I put a little bit of my of my eggplant. Why well, don't saute it? It's so yummy. When you saute your eggplant, if it take you for many more, see that small. So now, there is no Taco Bell without avocado. But first, I go sprinkle my small brine onion, bay pepper, and onion leaf on top for give it some nice color. Just give it that fresh taste. Then you cut your avocado and you put it there, and voila. I put this last one for fire. And so we are having a taco ready food to eat.
tomorrow is tuesday it's taco tuesday so when i try this taco back home when i tell me how when i enjoy them i really want for you when i comment them because a really nice way you make something for sister people they like way to way you do make them pay for america you must get lucky for get good pay so you just chop your small avocado on top of it and here you have your taco do you see that so my avocado now my healthy fat so i no need for sprinkle my olive oil on top again and to eat it like they do taco you just hold it like this and you have your taco there that is a healthy taco this is healthy with this bread with this my homemade tortilla if you make and so one of these slices get about 36 calories which is way less than if you go market go buy the pre-meat tortilla your dry meat no salt no oil you just and you are using a lean meat with no fat for the 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 meat and then you get your healthy eggplant if you now know the benefit for eggplant when i google them it benefits in the uncountable you get your spinach and your onions and your vegetables so actually you are using vegetable to eat vegetable there is really no carbohydrate the flour there is no flour because you use coconut flour so this is a very healthy meal so again for when i want to join my take my take a goal now to come up with healthy dishes for, for use vegetable the way they day here for abroad, for make them more we'll get healthy meal out of this vegetable then. If we not do weight loss like me, we not know say it's not easy for come up with menu. You feel one, no say yes, you get for chop the vegetable there. You know very well so you get for chop the vegetable then. You get for avoid the carbohydrate. But if you not get a way for make things that may your chop still be lively, it will hard you for sustain that healthy eating so my take a goal now for help we may we feel sustain healthy eating by coming every week we want new healthy twist we want new way for make so we feel chop many more things them we know go only the chop the same thing because girl just take eggplants so you want chop it like that is very difficult if you don't know how for make them you see how you saute them with the grind meat and you make them so you feel chop this eggplant yourself with many other different things and not just as taco you feel choppy with many different things. So time the they just saute you so. As I saute the eggplant, so just chop it so. So time the I saute you so, it be where you use my, my cucumber, my grand cucumber, where I make an spaghetti, put it on top, I chop it. So the whole point of my take is to help people eat healthy. And many times them would eat unhealthy simply because we will not get varieties them for healthy options if you get healthy options then we will always eat healthy because again if you know how to make something you go want for make them but if you don't know how to make something you will end up finding yourself so you go start the dieting plan you leave them you abandon them because we will not get things the way where the world will make things the way they feel match with african taste but so my goal for my take now for come up with new menu them way especially for those who are abroad for bring menu then we will go use them chop them feel like say we don't chop something so that we feel sustain weight loss program for longer and longer so it's not going to be a program it will become a lifestyle because healthy living has to be a lifestyle it not just get for me for a particular time so once we develop a lifestyle and once we get more menu them, we we'll get more different ways and for make things them, we will see and say we will be chop healthy most of the time them. We're not going to run short of what to eat 
because most of the time them would run short of what to eat and so when we run short of what to eat we'll go back for always them this taco you can do it i call it taco you can make it and eat it with i i make it sometime and eat it with them um, with a uh, squash some days i make squash i do my fry squash in my in my in my fryer and you eat it with this taco saute is very good as well when i call it taco the taco is just because of the name of the bread but actually when you saute your eggplant you can eat it with many different things not just a healthy way for it so without too much talk before i go i want to tell you what I say i did look for 10 people then for join me for my january weight loss challenge where you go be coach I will be the coach, Gina F will be the coach for the weight loss team. I want 10 people there where they want to join me. And I really want people where they be serious. Because again, information is useless if you don't practice it. Joining a program is useless if you don't follow it. So for you for follow something, you get for be committed to it. For say me a worker. If you want to lose weight, you get for be committed to your weight loss plan. So I want 10 people there where they be willingly for join me for doing my weight loss goal for january when i know that christmas this now december period this now chop 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 and celebration and so we end up gain weight but once january reach one for bring sexy back before february 14. so anyone anyway, will want to join me for a one month weight loss program coached by gina f inbox me i will pick the first 10 people and i will contact them privately out of facebook i will go on for the challenge i love you now let me dig into this i so want to dig into it it looks so good you just chop like you chop taco oh. mm. very nice very 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 nice so i love you now send me your comments like me share and let me know if you want to be part of the january weight loss challenge follow me in facebook my take by gina f follow me in youtube i have a youtube channel my take by gina f you go to youtube there is new video there every week my take doesn't fail my take is constant my take is there to make sure that your week is full mondays are live Saturday is talk. In between, there is one shaking body video telling you to look. So my check page is not boring. Spend time on my page check, like it, comment, and share. I love you now. I love you now. Happy week. We'll see you for Saturday.